We are getting close to the start of the Scottish football season and the transfer certainly warmed up today with some big, big signings. Welcome back guys to Fog Football for your daily transfer video roundup. And there was some big deals done today. Some deals that we've been expecting for a while, but nonetheless, those deals got over the line this morning, this afternoon, this evening. And one of those deals was Hart signing Kiyosuke Tagawa from FC Tokyo. The Japanese forward 24 has signed a four-year deal at Hearts. I think it's going to be a big move. He's been capped through every single level. Of Japanese football. He's played for the under 17s, under 18s, under 19s, under 21s, under 23s, and has also had a couple of appearances for the national side, the senior national side. He's played in Portugal, he's played in the J League. Stephen Naismith says they cannot wait for him to join the club and add some top quality squad depth and I think this is going to be a great signing for Hearts. We've seen a lot of players join Scotland over the past few years from the Asian market. A lot of them have been successful and I think we will see Kyosuke Tagawa also be successful for Hearts. He will join his Japanese compatriot Yotaro Oda at the club and I expect big big things from this guy being a Hearts fan I am super excited to see how Tagawa gets on and I just hope he can get off to a good start speaking of Rangers though another man they've been linked with for a while finally they got this deal over the line Rangers have signed Ecuador midfielder Jose Cervantes from Los Angeles on an undisclosed fee we know that Michael Beale's been trying to get him in for a long time now finally he got his man it took a long time but you know what better late than never for Rangers and they do complete the signing of the Ecuadorian. He's also 24 years old, just like the Japanese lad that signed for Hearts, and I believe he's also signed a four year deal at Rangers. So, some big long term contracts here coming in today with the Scottish Premiership. Cervantes is also capped at international level. He's been capped 16 times and he did play 26 times this season for Western Conference side Los Angeles. And I think it'll be interesting to see. How he gets on at Rangers. Michael Beale said the following. Yossi is a player we have followed for a long time. He is a midfielder who can play in a variety of roles. Both as a box-to-box -box player and in a more defensive role. He has excelled in the MLS and for his national team. I love his project and his vision of football. Is what Cervantes said about Beale. And he also said he was very excited and amazed to join this club. So, yeah, I know, big, big words from Beal, and big, big words from Jose Cervantes, and it looks like this could be another good signing for Rangers, although what it does mean is, I think now we're finally going to see some Rangers players leave. I know Cholak's already left, but I expect to see a little bit more in the next couple of days, and it looks like two of those players could be Fashion Sakala, who is expected to make a move to Saudi Arabia, and Glenn Kamara, who has pretty much been expected to leave Rangers for about 18 months now. It has not happened. However, the Herald is reporting that there is up to six clubs across Europe prepared to make a deal happen for the £5.5 million midfielder that plays for Rangers. Looks like Leon, Stad Reims, Trazabon Spore and Galatasaray are leading the race alongside German side Borussia Mönchengladbach and Danish team FC Copenhagen. So what will be interesting to see which one of those wins the services for Glenn Kamara. Would all six of them be wanting to pay 5.5 million for Glenn Kamara? That I am not sure. We'll have to wait and see. We already made a video earlier today on the channel but yeah Sam McClelland will speak about it again he has joined St Johnston the former Chelsea defender got released by the club this summer and he has been snapped up relatively quickly by Stephen McLean at St Johnston I think this will be a good signing for St Johnston Sam McClelland still only 21 got lots of good years ahead of him and I wouldn't be surprised if he impresses at St. Johnson and within a year or two finds himself getting a move to a bigger club.
club. But I guess we're finally going to find out now how good Sam McClelland is. He came up through the Chelsea youth system, the Chelsea youth ranks, and now we're going to find out in a competitive Scottish league whether or not he has what it takes. And uh, finally, Leeds have made an improved offer. For Aberdeen midfielder Yelber Ramadani, uh, Sky Italy are reporting this, that an improved offer of £1.1 million plus a 10% sell-on fee has been negotiated. And we just have to wait and see if Aberdeen are going to accept that. I don't think they will. It might be an improved offer, but it's not that much more improved on what they offered before. And I just believe that Aberdeen will hold it for a wee bit more money than this. Can they get a bit more? Possibly. I mean, we have seen some players leave Scotland over the past couple of years for good money. I think they could maybe get a little bit more for Ramadani. He's going to be an important player for Aberdeen. And if they do sell him, they're probably going to have to replace him as well. So that will be in the back of Barry Robson's mind. But yeah, guys, I mean, there was more transfers today, but they're, they're pretty minor ones. So I'm not going to go through every single one. But I mean, that was the big deals from today. Hearts and Rangers, obviously, making the big news with their signings. Um, but other than that, guys, a couple more days now to go until the start of the Scottish Premiership season. Absolutely cannot wait. Scottish football coming back. It feels like it's been a long time it feels like it's been a long wait but in reality it hasn't even been that long you know it's only been what like six weeks since the scottish cup final i believe so yeah we've had no you have had no football no national football over the summer but i feel like because it ended later and then we had the winter world cup last year it doesn't wait's not as long as it normally would be so it doesn't feel that bad but you know six weeks is long enough to wait on Scottish fit but thank god it's returning I can't wait lots of coverage over this upcoming week but that's it guys leave a like leave a comment subscribe we'll catch you in the next one and of course till then being fog football thanks for watching and peace